All right, welcome back, F1 Manager Nation. This is F1 Manager Legend. And uh, as you can see, I barely made it into the next round. Um, I got beat by guys that only raced eight races. Well, I guess one guy. But if you look down here, there's a bunch of people. If they would have finished, probably would have pushed me out. So I am very fortunate to continue on. And there I am at 44th. So let's see where we finish. Oh, never mind, I worked fast that time. So I was talking with. Hold on, let me bring up my list. Simba and Deso. Um, he was wanting to know what happened to my other account. I am showing this account. Because I think this account relates with a lot of my new subscribers. A lot of the questions I'm getting um, kind of relate to this account. So if you guys want to know why I'm showing this one, that's the reason why I'm showing it. Once again, there are some drivers that I am using. I was using Lando Norris, but his um, overtaking is too low. And that's why when I switched over to George Russell, he's... Um, a better all around. And then I would put Grosjean on if I was expecting it to rain. Well, actually, I don't need to. They're both good wet weather. Yeah, so this, this is a good all around. If you have Russell at 8 and Kvyat at 8. Um, I don't have Botas, but Botas at level 1, if you get him early in the game, use him, because his consistency is going to be really, his consistency, his tire management, his fuel management, um, you're going to win a lot of races with him. And early in a race, if you can get to Sergio Perez and Botas, um, you can win a lot of races. I could use Sergio Perez, but I'm not sure why I'm not using him. I just I didn't like how how his results were coming in, so I switched off. Sorry about my load time, but yeah. That's what I got. Okay, here are the people I'm going up against.
could have that. Okay. Here's the list. Let me know if you guys are in my group. I can't remember everyone's names. Oops. Okay, I'm not noticing anybody. These guys are all tied at 86. Okay, so here we go. Oh, wait, I gotta check because I am going to use boosts. So I need to give Kvyat a fuel management and Russell downforce. Here's my car. Uh, yesterday when I started, I think my pit stop time was five seconds. And I got passed in the pits where I came in well ahead of a guy. He stopped, he left, and I was still in the pits. So that's when I knew that was an issue. Um, I actually lost some grip yeah I gave up grip but I gained reliability with this setup because I was using uh, duh, 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 duh. I think I was using laser lock So yeah, I think I had this on, and I was using a different part as well. Oh, I was using um, the Zen. So that plus six in that other one, so that was giving me a, a freaking uh, five second pit stop. But you can see I had, I would have had more grip, but I would have had less arrow with that setup. So my grip and my arrow would have been closer together and I wasn't doing good. So there you go. There's a setup that I'm using with the parts that I have. There's a list of all my parts, where they're all at. You guys can pause the video to get a better look. And okay. Time back. Okay, so race after race three, I gotta come back out and get my race crate. Always remember when you guys are doing a Grand Prix to back out and get your race crates. All right, we found a match. We're going racing.
Is anybody else having a problem issue like this? Okay, you can see Russell's actually a pretty good pretty good driver here. Okay, so I found a way. Ooh, wait, hold on. I gotta Okay, so I found a way instead of doing a, a 3 3 2. I watched the guy beat me at his video. so jumpy so yeah um, running a 332 strategy just swapping in the laps around um, a 323 is I think a faster way of doing it So what we're going to do is we're just going to cruise the first three laps. Instead of going too slow, one fast, we're going to go three slow. stop and pit stop switch over to sauce weather's not going to change any and I can send Russell a little bit early I can send Kivya even earlier or also slow down so what we're going to do is we are going to go two laps now there goes Russell off the track We're going to throw in a short pit right here. Oh, man, that dude came off. <sighs> Was that not an unsafe joining of the track on 13? My guy's coming by, he jumps out and runs my guy off the track. That's the reason why I can't stand this. This is like the worst track. Off track again. So, what is that? Three times my guys went off the track?
And like I said yesterday, the whole safety car thing is bogus because my guy spun off on the track. That should have been the yellow. But no, the safety car doesn't come out for that. So as you're going to see, my tires are going to run out on that last straightaway. So the last two turns, we're going to be on bald tires. I guess uh, Kvyat went off the track, so what's that? Four times my guys went off the track. China is the worst track in this game. Congratulations, China. Your track sucks. When I saw it was this event, I was I was dreading it because I'm like, I can't stand this track. You guys are seeing how my game is lagging up. I'm going to pause this video and see if I can fix it. Alright, I got a match. I'm going racing. Can you guys tell I'm trying to come up with a catchphrase? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're at Australia. This is going to be another 3-2-3. Three, I forget who it was I raced, but somebody somebody smoked me, dude, and was laughing at me. And, you know, I've learned to, to watch my, my rival to see if I can determine what their strategy is. It's not that hard to do if you're on the big map. Because you can kind of uh, gauge... Your opponent's speed. Okay, you get this, and you get this. Yeah, it's kind of crazy when you use those um, boosts. You use two per race. Well, actually, I'm using three per race. Heck. I don't know what the heck that thing is that keeps trying to open up, but it needs to stop. So, uh, if you watch my video map I use... So I got to keep track of both my drivers, which is why I tend to use this screen. Pretty much everything. So there you go, drivers are getting out of your way. Ooh. 
which helps because you'll notice that as long as a car is in front of you, you're kind of going the same speed as that car. But once that car gets out of your way, all of a sudden you catch up to the car ahead of you. So if you can get these guys out of your way. And we can boost you early. And boost you. So now we are off to the races. Sometimes I, you know, kind of, the reason why I used to use the 332 is because at least the last three laps, you're going to be able to pass. But you're going to notice I'm not really going to do much passing, which is really irritating. And because of that, my drivers just got all bunched up. Oh man, he kept his drivers out. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, well, both my drivers are in the top 10, so I should score some pretty good points. Oh, his tires went bald, and the engine shut down. All right, well, we got two top fives. I have no idea what my man just did. That was crazy. Okay, so after two races, I'm at 76 points. Again, if you click on anyone, it'll show you what they're doing. And I just noticed something. It says race, one, two, three, four, five. Then the bottom row was race 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There is no race 6. But, i um, doing this video a little bit late, so I'm sure most of you have probably already finished by the time you watch this video. But, are you guys having a problem on race 5 and 6? 
because it seems like everyone score in race five or six. It's like they're taking a hit. So if I remember yesterday, race five was the yellow flag coming out. Yeah, so um, yesterday I remember the yellow flag coming out. So that might be a reason why. I gotta double check my ring. Oh no, we're good. We are good. So this whole race, it should be raining. All right, I found a match. I'm going racing. Alejandro Flores. We're at a wet Singapore. should be raining well, at least last round it rained the whole event okay shoot Those ones, that second one I put on, I think it's expensive. This is probably going to be the last time I use boosts. Okay, we don't got to worry about rain. As soon as I start the race, I go down. Yeah, I think the I think the race will be over in five minutes. You know, I normally do hard tires, and this is a one-stop race for me, so I'm not really sure...
Well, we're looking good for points. We're good on fuel. So can we get a double podium is the question. His Russell's going to have to pit. Gets Kvyat through. Can we get a one, two? I need that extra point. Let's go, Kvyat. Go get it. I did not think I could do a one-stop strategy with soft tires on this track, but I was wrong. I just did it. You guys go as fast as you can for as long as you can. slow down. Alright, so we got the one. And we got the two. Huh. A one-stop strategy with soft tires. Boy, you learn something new every day. All right, guys, you just saw that. Just finished race three. I'm going to open up the race crate. Okay, here it is. I needed that Perez upgrade. I needed that. Let's go straight to it. Get some fuel management and some defending. Right. I wish we could allot the points, you know, just like here, you have 29 points. Okay, after his upgrade, this is where he sits. Um, I could use him, but, I mean, Russell and Kivy, I just took one, two. I'm going to keep Perez on the sideline for now. It doesn't matter where I go. Okay, 
right, so we are at Bahrain. This is another really fast track. All right, I found a match. I'm going racing. And the match is Scott Metcalf. So right now I'm constantly moving around my room trying to find the best spot for a connection. Okay, so I forgot to put the boosts on. Um, Russell doesn't really need it. And apparently, neither does Kivyak, because I think we started 20, 21, 22. So... Oh, I forgot I was supposed to pit one of them now and have him come out and do another slow lap. That's okay. So I'm just going to send Kivya early. Hopefully he can open up enough of a gap so that the stacking issue I'm about to face is not that bad. He's out. Okay, there goes my drivers making up spots. He's going to come out and put hards on again. Oh, he put sauce on. Okay, so we are making moves, moving up, doing a good job. So we're going to give up track position right here, but we're only going to give up a few spots each. So we went from 2nd to 6th, and he went from 7th to 11th. And now we got three laps to make that up. And we're going to run out of tires. Well, Kivyat's probably going to run out at the beginning of the back stretch. That stretch right there.
Ooh, and you put hard tires on for two laps. I, I, I don't understand people. You, guys, you don't have to switch from one tire type to the other. Whoa, caveat. Whoa, caveat. Yeah, I'm going to lose third. Well, I got first and third. If I would have had the boost on, I would have won first, second by a long shot. But, you know, like I said, I, I don't think I really need the boosts. This next race, I think, is going to be a safety car. So you might want to set up for the long strategy. I got a match. I'm going racing. Two time finalist, one time qualifier. We're back at this garbage GP. There you go. All right, let's see what we get. Mm, so we both got a horrible start. good news is since I started at the back I don't have to worry about the strategy The worst thing you can have happen, it's even worse than stacking, is to have your drivers actually racing each other. Mm, Russell's going to get lapped.
and they're still gonna have my guys go off the track, dude. I can't stand this track. Oh, I hate it. Both my guys went off the track. I can't stand this track. This track is garbage. Mm, had him go off twice in one. Ugh. This track stinks, dude. After five laps, I'm dead last. I can't stand this track, man. Have him go off the track again. He's going to go off again. I just want to know how many times these these drivers are going to keep making the same mistake. And you can't tell me that it's because they're on high power. Because they're on high power all the time. Like, you're not going to be able to pass unless you can use high power. But, no. For some reason, there's two turns where you guys always go off the track. That's freaking garbage, dude. This is the worst Grand Prix because you got to do this stupid track three times. That track takes all the fun out of it, dude. Like, seriously. I can't stand doing it. Alright, I don't know if I forgot to record or not, but if I did forget, I finished. Sorry. I finished eighth and ninth on the last race, race number seven, or eight, whatever it is.
The China Grand Prix is always the reason why I stop playing this game. It just it takes all the fun out of it having to do that race three times. All right, I found a match. I'm going racing. I got four more races before I got to go back on that stupid track again. This track also has two places where your drivers will go off. But for some reason, it doesn't have the same issue that China does. China is just a bad track. It's, it's just horrible in this game. I don't like that track in real life either. I just think it's a stupid design. You guys will go off right there. Right there. This is going to be a one-stop race. One of my drivers, because we're so close, is going to pit on lot f at the end of lap four. <clears throat> the other one's going to pit uh, at the end of lap five. All right, the driver should be going off on turn one right there. High power, they should be going off right there. Was that one, two, three, four? Look, it's even raining.
See, I don't have a problem with them starting me in the back. It's like, fine, do it. But don't have it where you start me at the back and then have my drivers go off track six times in a race. That's, that's just ludicrous. There's something wrong with that track's dynamics that that can happen. You guys are wondering why I'm passing him. It's because he was using medium power the whole race, so he can't sprint. What the heck is wrong with the car, too? Oh, his tires went. See? I started at the back, dude. I have no problem with you guys starting me at the back. Just be fair about the race dynamics. I think I found a match. I'm going racing. Okay, hopefully it rains the whole race. So again, we're going to start slow, finish fast. Sorry I haven't been saying that. Just spacing out. Um, it's okay if they start to run away a little bit. That's just the, the, the time and space that you're going to get back when you start going fast. Sending them. And I'm sending them. I will be able to get two laps from both of them. So it should be a one stop one stop strategy.
So his tires went also, but number three's tires did not. There you go, all of our tires went, but we will have enough tire to get to the end. So I'm out in 18th, but these are the passing laps. So pretty much every sharp turn, I should be picking up a position. Well, uh, Kvyat should. These guys all pit early, that's what I was about to say. So I'm just going to slow them down. But now you should have enough fuel. Second and ninth. That's not bad. Okay, found a match. I'm going racing. Sorry for the delays, guys. I got two bars, but for some reason it's taking forever. Nope, didn't get any positions. Lost one, though. Okay, so he's racing, using up that fuel, first half of the race. Wow, someone pit. Why did Carlos Sainz pit? I don't understand that.
Yep, I stacked my drivers. So again, this is a 3-2-3 strategy. I'm getting quiet because I'm thinking how I'm going to handle this next race I got to do. I hate it. Okay, so we are in good shape. We're not going to be able to get a 1 2 finish, I don't think. Definitely not. But we should be able to score some pretty good points. Ah, hemorrhaging spots. We're going to lose fifth, too. Okay, fourth and six. I'll take it. See, I don't, dude, I don't care if you guys start me at the back. I get it. You got to make it competitive. But just let the track be fair. China is not fair. That track is not fair. Okay, here's my race crate.
I have no idea why Kubica is rare. That is like the, that is the absolute most hilarious thing I have ever seen in a game. Is that they're gonna make this guy a rare, and he's garbage. Like seriously. Do you see how low his stats are? And look, when you upgrade them, they give you that. Okay, you're going to have to pit every two laps because his tire management is garbage. You can't go fast because his fuel management is garbage. And he's going to drive off the track a lot because his consistency is garbage. Why is this a rare character? Can anyone explain that to me? This is the part of the game that I'm just like, I don't understand where... Hutch is coming from. Um, the other thing is Hulkenberg. My other account, you guys see it. My Hulkenberg is what? Still level one? Level two? Like, I never see his assets. Ever. And he's another one. Look, his fuel management is zero. How is it possible that your fuel management is zero? That stat right there makes absolutely no sense. And then when I first started the game, I actually wrote Hutch and I asked him, what, what do you guys have against Hulkenberg? And he wrote me back, oh, I assure you, we don't have anything against Hulkenberg. It's just, we're never going to give up his assets. And he's a series one. So if anything, like you should be epic um, uh, asset come up. Right? The fact that I have a Vettel who's what, Series 6? The fact that I have a Vettel and I don't have a Hulkenberg. I have a level 2 Verstappen, a level 2 Ricardo, but I don't have a Hulkenberg. Yeah, this game has a lot of issues. And they say they're fixing stuff, but they don't fix anything. The, 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 the safety car is a joke. This track, I don't even know why they have this track in here. Because if any track had drivers going off this often, they would have to fix the track because that's a, obviously a safety issue. But nope. We're stuck doing this garbage track, so get ready for my drivers to go off again. Dude, just let the track be fair. I mean, my drivers obviously know. Okay, I went off there five times last race. All right, I found a match. I'm going racing. Um. I really wish my drivers wouldn't talk back to me.
So it's probably going to rain the whole race. If it's raining five minutes, the races only last about five minutes. Alright, so we're coming up on the point where everything starts to go tragically wrong. I guess Carlos Sainz pits early in this game. It's funny that uh, your boy Kubica... Out in 10th and out in 19th, 20th. Yeah, I came out and I did it to him. Sorry, Leo Gutierrez. This is the race I was expecting my guys to be sliding off the track, but no, everyone's staying on in the rain. It's just when it's a dry track, they can't stay on the track. See what I mean? This is just... It's infuriating. I did that because I think this is my only chance. Uh, I don't think it would have mattered. My tires would have went bald. Yeah, I don't know. I think I might have got second. I don't know. Hey, the good news is we're done with China. Um, I guess I got to show you guys where I finish.
All right, after a minute, it finally came up. And here's where I finished. China. China 1, China 5, wet China. I get 41 points. It doesn't make any sense, dude. That track is broken. If I was the Chinese government, I would be very upset at the state of the track in this game. That it's the worst one. Anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace.